Hey everybody, um, today we are doing a little um, animation and you're going to go ahead and do this in the same document that you did your prompt for who is an American today. Um, so if you haven't done your who is an American today, make sure you do that prompt. Um, the final product isn't going to be, a, you're not going to share this Google slide, you're going to actually have a video. Um, of your animation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to um, make a new slide here. So make it blank. So we'll just go up to slides, click blank, make a blank one. Now what you're going to do is you're going to insert um, word art. And you're going to start with just the first letter of your name. I'm going to go ahead and do Neville. I'm going to do an N. Right? And so I should have an N in there. Where's it at? Oh, maybe not. Insert. There it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and make that the font and the color that I want. Um, I'm just going to do an Aiken type one. So I'll do an And, and uh, if you want to have a background color, you can put in a background color. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a little gradient. Uh, maybe light blue. Alright, so I got my N. Um, I want it to be a different font, so I'm going to go with, uh, let's go, everybody likes lobster. I don't want to do lobster. Let's do Meriwether Black. Um, so after I got my N, I'm going to get my other letters. So I'll just copy, Control C, Control V, copy and paste this. Let's do an E. Let's do a V. Now there's a reason why we're doing each of these individually. So you might be like, Mr. Neville, that's not, um, you could just do the whole name. Uh, but there's a reason why we're doing this. And the reason is we're going to animate each of these letters, uh, copy paste, as we go. You can make yours different fonts than mine, um, but just make sure it fits in the area. So LL and copy paste and e all right so after i do that i'm going to put them in the order i want them in where i want them so i'm just going to put them in a little bit align them you know you can use the red lines to make sure they're aligned and once you get them all on here and get them where you want them, and they're on the page, you are going to now, um, let me move this over here, you're going to now animate them. And you can add other things into your picture to animate. Like let's say I want my eye to have a, um, a star as the top of the eye. Ooh, I'll go get my star here, call out star. And then I'm going to make a star right here and put it right there. Um, so there's other things. Try to have at least one, you know, non-name element. So I got my eye. I'm going to make this transparent. I'm going to make this, uh, I'm just going to make it the same color. I'll make it that same uh, purple. And let's see, I kind of want these a little bit over. I don't know, right now I'm being picky, but it's important that you're picky because uh, it'll look better if you're picky. All right, so now I've got all these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a specific letter. So I want my end to come in first. I'm going to animate it. When I click animate, it's over here. It says appear on click. So I don't want it to appear on click. I want it to fly in from the right side. So it's going to fly in from the right. And I want it to be um, uh, just on click, I guess. Yeah, there we go. And I want it to last um, about one, one and a half seconds. So now I got that. So if I play this, It'll go on the click. 
that's the only thing that moves. Okay, so now I'm going to add animations to the other parts. So I'm going to add this animation, add animation, and I want it to appear with, uh, let's see, I put that down. I want it to fly in from the top, and I want it to be with previous because I want it to go at the same time as the end. We're going to make this one a little bit longer. I'm going to make it two, 2.5 seconds. Okay, 2.3. There we go. And uh, so I go through and I do this with each one. Um, however I want it to go, I want this one to um, fade in. And I can have them fly out too afterwards like i can have multiple animations of that one uh let's see i'm gonna have this one just appear i'll just go ahead and have the other ones uh let's see and you want to change it from on click to after previous or with previous so i'm just going to do most of them with previous or after previous there we go that one's just going to appear Mm. Oh, whoops. And if you need to, if you accidentally do want too many, like I just added, like a bunch, V, I. Okay, now we go L. Uh, and I don't want an on click, I want it with, pre after, with previous, after previous, after previous. And then the other L. Uh, up here, Azure Previous. Uh, and the E. And I'm going to have this one appear. Let's have this one do something funny. Let's have it zoom out. Okay, and after previous. Okay, let's see. So let's see it play. So now, oh, I didn't do anything with the E. And E, uh, and it, it went out. Okay, so I got some things that I wanted to do that it didn't do. So let's, uh, then you just go back and you kind of mess with it. Okay, the E stayed there. I don't want it to zoom out. I want it to fly in from the left um, with previous. And then I want this one to, um, let's see, zoom in. Let's try to zoom in on that one. That's our previous. Uh, and I want it to, let's try to zoom in and see what that looks like. Okay, so let's play the animation. And E, yeah, E. Okay, and it looks like it just uh, had a little bit, like the V I L L are a little bit too fast. So I can go in. I'm I'm not gonna mess with these too much, um, but I could go in. I could make them a little bit faster, slower. Uh, let's see. Appear after previous. Okay, so you can mess with these a little bit as you go. Um, but when you're ready to record, um, you click on this up here. Um, and I 
don't let's see no it's not that part it's oh sorry i'm going to close the motion now and i'm going to put um create recorded slideshow so then you click record a new video and microphone is blocked uh, click the lock icon in your browser's address bar I don't know where you can just dismiss that we don't need words so what I'm going to do is as soon as I'm ready to record I click right down oh no nope, that's not what I'm doing sorry uh, so let's see oh sorry I click let's go back so I click start recording and then I'll just click on the screen if this little thing over here can be there or not you can get rid of it but start recording and you click allow and it's going to start and then I just click on there and it puts it in everything's animated and then all you got to do to stop it is click the stop button which is right down here but I don't know if I can get to it because let's, let's go like that and see uh, I think it stopped ah. okay um, so it should be recorded now you click save to drive it'll save it to your google drive you can see uploading to drive and it will then upload the video to the drive alright and then once it's uploaded to your drive you can take the video and um, put it into the assignment okay from your Google Drive uh, just make sure that if you share it that your sharing is available with CPS alright happy recording